Hi friends, welcome to Interact Medicine. In this section, we can talk about the difference, how to how we can differentiate between the pyogenic meningitis and tuberculosis meningitis and the viral meningitis. And before we going to differentiate these meningitis, we need to understand what are the normal composition of CSF. CSF, CSF we know cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid which is formed by choroid plexus and drain into superior sagittal sinus and what is the color of the CSF it is crystal clear transparent liquid and the composition like cells is there any RBs in CSF no is there any neutrophils no but we can see some few lymphocytes we know lymphocytes are which have the big nucleus with less cytoplasm and approximately they are 5 cells per cubic millimeter and the level of glucose is approximately 2, 2 by 3 of plasma which means that 66 percentage of plasma glucose which means if the plasma have 100 percentage of glucose the whole glucose will not enter into CSF because the the glucose transporter is not much effective protein the level of protein is 0.4 gram per liter it is very low level in csf the level of protein is very low as compared to the plasma level in normal plasma level it is 7 to 8 gram per deciliter or 70 to 80 gram per liter normal so we can differentiate the pyogenic meningitis, tuberculosis meningitis, viral meningitis now. Pyogenic means the pus forming meningitis. The pus forming bacteria cause the meningitis. For an example, Escherichia coli, Streptococcus, Neisseria, and tuberculosis, we know tuberculosis meningitis and virus. The meningitis is caused by virus. Okay, what is the color? When, when, uh, during the lumbar puncture, we uh, puncture the lumbar between the L between the vertebrae of L4 and L5 and we get the CSF we get the CSF what is its color for pyogenic meningitis the color is yellow color or turbid because it forms the pus what is in tuberculous meningitis it is in turbid color may or may not be there is the fibrin web present in viral meningitis, the liquid color is not changed. It is same as the original, like clear, transparent liquid. And those cells, you know, pyogenic meningitis cause acute inflammation. So, the CSF has very, very high level of neutrophils. Tuberculosis is a chronic inflammation. So, the level of neutrophils is very low it is also same for viral meningitis what about lymphocyte the normal level of lymphocyte in csf is approximately five cells per cubic uh, cubic millimeter because of pyogenic meningitis is and acute inflammation so there is low level of lymphocytes but tuberculosis meningitis is a chronic inflammation so there is much higher lymphocytes present in the CSF so viral meningitis also have high lymphocytes but not as much tuberculosis meningitis so next we can study about the level of glucose in pyogenic meningitis is less than 50 percentage of plasma glucose level why it is less because we know the bacteria utilize the glucose for energy production so tuberculosis meningitis also have less less than 50 percentage of plasma or blood level but the virus is does not use the glucose for its energy production so the level of glucose is greater than 50 percentage plasma or blood glucose level or it may be normal and 
we can talk about the level of proteins. In pyogenic meningitis, the level of protein is moderate to severe. Why it is? Because the bacteria disrupt the microcirculation, so which will lead to the increase the permeability for proteins. So we can say there is a high level of proteins in the CSF in pyogenic meningitis as well as tuberculous meningitis. In viral meningitis, it generally does not disrupt the microcirculation, micro but we can say there will be a slight elevation of protein level in CSF in viral meningitis. So I think we can differentiate, now we can differentiate the this meningitis. So when we take the CSF, we uh, we, how we can differentiate the viral meningitis and the tuberculosis meningitis. So when we take the CSF from during lumb lumbar puncture, in both uh, in the CSF there be a slight uh, there is a high level of lymphocyte. For an example, if the if the CSF have high level of lymphocyte, so we can be a confused there confusing there because uh, is it maybe viral or tuberculosis meningitis? So we can analyze the level of glucose. Is it less than 50 percentage of plasma or blood level? It is tuberculosis meningitis. And if it is normal level of glucose or greater than 50 percentage of plasma or blood glucose level, it is viral meningitis. Also, we can differentiate the pyogenic meningitis with tuberculosis meningitis by using color. In pyogenic meningitis is yellow in color and tuberculosis in fibrin web present. The nature of cells, neutrophils very high in pyogenic meningitis and in tuberculous meningitis the level of lymphocyte is very high. So I think this video is helpful for you. If you have any doubt you can make the comment and if you have any suggestion you can also add in the comment. If you like this video, please make a thumbs up, share to your friends. Have a nice day. Bye.